cool. Oh, I want some food. <laughs> that looks good. Being a board member. Yes, ma'am. Sell to the camera. Who are you? I am the Western Region Board Member of National Council of Actors Equity Association. All right. Congratulations. I heard that right here with me. Too, right? When Cheryl gets here. Oh, Tay. <laughs> Traffic and just getting on the system. Nerve. Okay. But nobody can help it because I was late yesterday when I brushed. I brushed between telephone calls. At the disco, I'm going to brush on, on, on the slow songs. I'm not. I'm going to say something. Rapunzel. Pull your tresses back into the tower and Lady Godiva give up horseback riding. You know how it is when we have this. Or, you know, I'll start out and you want to take a section? Okay, sure. And Lady Godiva give up horseback riding. Section. And Connie, you can do whatever you practice, okay? What we yeah, you want to do? Yeah, yeah. Of this? Well, you did, but I think I left my book at home. Okay. That particular book because it's it? so heavy. Oh. How many you need? Horseback riding. I'm going to alter my social and professional life dramatically. I like lifting my head in the morning. Like lifting my head in the morning will become a chore. I'll try to turn my cheek and my head will wear me down. <laughs> I dream of Shaka Khan. Chocolate from Graham Central Station with all seven wigs and Medusa. I brush and brush. I use olive oil, hair food, and Posner's vitamin E. But mostly I brush. And brush. I may lose contact with my friends. I could lose my job, but I'm on unemployment. And brush while I'm waiting online for my check. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure I get good recommendations from my social worker. Such a fastidious woman, that Lily. <laughs> Always brushing her hair. Nothing in my dreams suggests that my hair brushing, per se, has anything to do with my particular head of hair. Boom. Yeah. Rapunzel, pull your tresses back into the tower and Lady Godiva give up horseback riding. I'm going to alter my social and professional life dramatically. I will brush 100 strokes in the morning, 100 strokes in the midday, and 100 strokes before retiring. retiring. Uncle Trains and the Express, I'm going to brush. I'm going to brush between telephone calls at the disco. I'm going to brush on the, on the slow songs. I, I don't slow dance anymore with strangers. <laughs> I'm going to brush my hair before making love and after. I brush my hair in taxis while window shopping. I brush my hair while thinking about anything. Mostly I think about how it will be when I get my full head of hair. Like lifting my head in the morning will become a chore. Mm -hmm. Chocolate from Graham Central Station with all seven wigs. I brush and brush. Turn my cheek and my hair will weigh me down. You know. Ooh, I love it. You know. <laughs> the symbols again. Love it. Say it again. Agundara. <laughs> Agundara. Beautiful. So am I. I'm from the motherland. Right. Well, let's do our prayer before you go. Oh, absolutely. All right. Let's all come together as one voice because we are one voice tonight. Okay. All right. Energy, energy. Let's do it. As an understudy for Janet Lee, oh. uh, she was the lady in brown. Um, one of my boyfriends, and I've had many, but anyway. <laughs> uh, he, so I went down there and I got the understudy, right? So for five months, I was the happy hooker. <laughs> Because I was hooking a rug, you know what I mean? In uh -huh. between, you know, going on, right? I learned how to hook a rug. And one day, R. Scott came up into my dressing room. R. Scott is the director. Yes. He came up into my dressing room and said, Roxanne, I want you to go into the show. And I looked up at him and I said, for what? Because <laughs> I was a happy hook. I was happy. I loved all the ladies in the show. They were wonderful. And, and I, you know, and I was just... I was making money, and I was hooking my rug, and I didn't have all that pressure. Well, it was pressure still, because, you know, I, I covered about three different people, three different yeah, ladies, yeah. or four or five, I don't know how many, but anyway. Seven, but anyway, I think, so anyway, seven. I said, for what? 
And he said, I want your energy. I want you to go into the show. De Janet Leigh decided to leave for Color Girls after five months on Broadway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's the money. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Father, give me another one. But anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so it was a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful experience. Sure. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, we knew the manager, Cliff, mm -hmm. and we had patronized them the whole time we were there. So we were getting ready to pack up. We needed some boxes. And I said, what do you mean? Those are all them boxes. And I see all the boxes over there. Let me pack the boxes. So she came I'm back. So she came back. Well, that stuff was happening a lot. But then, you know, a lot of people, it wasn't crack, did it? I guess it was, what was it? Pre-crack. <laughs> Heroin, I don't know what it was. Drugs. Opium. Opium, whatever. Uh, oh, yeah, and then the, the, the results of Vietnam War and all of that. She don't like that word. I really understand her writing. Me too. Me too. It takes a minute. All that stuff was happening. Uh, as much as things change, they stay the same. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's yeah. What, yeah, yeah just a little know, different. Writing, so much music. I did spell number seven. Oh, okay. Yeah. The, the wars that we have now, these guys come back and they can't pay their mortgage. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the house, the, the the families were split up. So you had that. Uh, and the well, the lady in red is probably passion. It probably has some type of symbolic right. yeah. Yeah. reason, but I don't know what it was. Exactly. And brown. Brown. Earth anything mm -hmm. that's the extraordinariness of that and i think mm -hmm. we get lost in it's all the other things mm -hmm. as opposed to what the just the essence of just who the person is just the bare bare thing you know mm -hmm. who says ten thousand dollars i need that money you know how bad they need them things yeah. are. that's right mm -hmm. yeah well <laughs> <laughs> oh, i give me a new pair of shoes <laughs> Anytime soon? Is there, are there any talks of consideration of mounting? Appreciate that, uh, but I do. <laughs> but this, this, you know, is there only one Intazaki? No. Oh. Mm -hmm. She created work for Black women, and every production had this sense of unity. Mm -hmm. She was a trailblazer. She was a mm -hmm. healer. She was a hellraiser. She was a lot of things. Mm -hmm. She was a unifier. Mm -hmm. She was That's a unifier. Cool. She was a lot of things. Mm -hmm. she, the production needs to be done. It needs to be done this year. It should be done. Definitely. And not just for those of us who remember it. As I sat here and I heard the lines, I was like, oh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> so, but also for all the young people who don't even know who she is. Mm -hmm. yes. They need yes. to know yes. it will be a history mm -hmm. lesson. Yes. yes. It's yes. edgutainment. Yes. Yes. You say? Oh, give me a ham sandwich. Do a ham bone. Give me a ham sandwich. God, give me my ham. I want my ham. <laughs> Sucker.